It's year four for Liberty High School, and the class of 21 is actually the first graduating class to go to Liberty for all four years of high school. So even though they aren't the first graduating class, they're the really kind of the first one to have the full Liberty experience. And joining us as we get ready to hear the Liberty High School Jazz Ensemble are Spencer Knight. Hi, thanks for having us. And Sam Ross. Hello. Sam, let me start with you. Even though you all didn't get to have an outside guest artist this year, the Iowa City protocols prevented outside people from coming in, so we weren't able to come in and record. But you sub produced and submitted your own recording. Mr. Art put it together for the band so that you could participate. I know that you remember your guest ex artist experience last year when Steve Grismore was your guest artist for Corridor Jazz Project. You soloed on that piece as well. So tell me, was that experience important to you? It totally helped me grow. I think it's arguably one of the greatest moments I had as a high school musician, primarily because it really served as a transition point into where I wanted to go to college. That was kind of the nail in the coffin for me as far as my decision. And so, um, and like I said, the uh, advice that uh, Professor Gris Grismore gave me at that time was absolutely incredible. The way, the way he was able to break things down in a way that I could understand it and that made sense. And that was really awesome. So that was a really big moment for me, um, kind of as a junior, you know, kind of starting to step up a little bit, but still kind of in that high school phase. And that kind of helped um, elevate that a little bit more. So Spencer, are there any traditions that were started during your time at Liberty that you hope will continue after you're gone? Well, I'd say that we have a tradition of enthusiasm at rehearsal, and I think that's really important for us as a group and just the whole band program in general, uh, especially coming in as like first year freshmen, didn't really have upperclassmen to bring the hype for us. So we kind of had to make it for ourselves. And I think that's really important for our program in the future, just to keep having fun and to keep improving and enjoying what we do. Well, as I said, we didn't get to come personally to Liberty because of COVID protocols, but you submitted a wonderful video in the brand new Liberty Auditorium. Uh, great lighting. You guys all looked and sounded great. And you had a super vocalist who was one of your fellow students, Madeline uh, Langson. And we're going to hear that here in just a minute. Anything you want to tell us about the recording since I wasn't there? Tell me about that day. Yeah, it was... Um... It was really awesome. I think we really put in a lot of work uh, to it and it was really great to kind of have um, some rehearsals where it was just the band and we were able to really critique some moments and then also with the vocalists as well, kind of having uh, different types of rehearsals. That was really cool, so. Well, I'd just like to give a shout out to Mr. Arp just because we wouldn't have been able to throw all this together uh, without his help. Just this project and then the whole program in general it's it's been so much fun having him as a director and we're really appreciative of everything that he's done for us well and now we get to see some of the fruits of that hard work here's the liberty high jazz ensemble with duke ellington's imagine my frustration featuring vocalist madeline langson on kcck's corridor jazz concert Invitation to dance 
smell of the ball Who likes what she sees A voice said to me Wallflower, my dear How come you can't see You're not one it is You can't see You're not 